What up, it's your man Rands back once again for Random Access DFW.com. Now, when you think Dallas Fort Worth icon, obviously, <laughs> I'm probably one of the first names that comes to mind, but actually, I've got nothing on this lady. Christine Kahanik has been on television locally on Channel 8, Channel 11 for over 20 years. Now, she has totally reinvented herself and has taken her career to a whole different level. So I met up with her as she was discussing and signing her cover shoot for Equanimity Magazine. Equanimity Magazine comes out every three months and it features people that are trying to make huge lifestyle or career changes, just like Christine Kahane. You can find it at Barnes & Noble or you can get it online at eqtmagazine.com. But the real meat of this story is Christine Kahane and all the changes that she's gone through since she left television. What's up, it's your man Rance, back once again with Random Access DFW.com, and right now I have a Dallas Fort Worth icon, Miss Christine Kahanik. How are you? I'm great, Rance. It's great to see you. I know it's been a while. Christine and I, we worked together a few years ago, and it was a good time, but you have progressed to do, I want to say, bigger and better things. I mean, you did great things on TV. So, well, let's first hit on that. So, you spent some years doing weather in Texas, and people know you for all of that. Right. I, I spent a good 20 years on the air giving Texans their weather forecast, whether it was in Waco, I did weekends, I went moved to Austin to the ABC station, did weekday mornings there, then came to WFAA and did a few years there doing mornings and then ended up as chief at KTVT for a good seven years. And that was a great, great experience at the station. But, you know, um, Changes in the economy, changes in the way the business is being done with the television industry. It just, you know, it was time for me to go and move on to other things. And that's when this started. Now, do you miss any of that on-air stuff? You know, people ask me that all the time. And, you know, I have to say, no. Uh, no, I've gotten out of the business twice. The first time after about a year, I did miss it. But now that it's been a year and a half, I don't. And so that to me is a clear sign that I'm, I'm done. Yeah, but it was a great ride while it lasted. Do you feel like you have a little bit more of your life back now that you're not having to cater to everybody else? Well, it's just very different because now I, um, you know, I have all the responsibility of, you know, my eight and twelve-year-old, and um, you know, my business and the house, and my role has changed, and you know, I'm kind of in this new self-discovery mode right now. I did 20 years of what I always wanted to do since I was a kid, right. and you know, now I'm kind of reaching for some new some new and different goals that probably a lot of people don't know about yet. <laughs> well, let's talk about the shift then. So you leave television to become an author who, with a lot of marketing and all of this, who is the uh, doll based on? Well, that's, that's a very long and personal story, um, but very a very uh, important one to me. Katie, that's who this is, is based on uh, a baby that I lost when I was eight months pregnant. And she is my family's guardian angel now. So she would have been 11 years old today. And she serves as the inspiration for the stories that I've written to teach kids about weather. So Katie, the guardian angel now, is a teacher. And she um, guards or watches over Grace and Alex who are based on my two living children and she takes them on magical adventures using her magic umbrella and they learn about storms and blizzards and tropical storms and things like that. That is awesome. So you were actually able to use your work experience to transition into a new phase. Yes, well I've always loved weather and children love weather. Mm -hmm. They are fascinated by it, they are often frightened by it, so are adults. Yeah. But children especially and so what I try to do with this series and with these products is provide teachers and parents with a tool to help their children better understand simple science facts about weather so they won't be so afraid. Sure. So if you give them some groundwork, some ground information and some soothing information, I think kids if they just have information and knowledge they won't be so afraid. So I would ask how they've been received but considering the amount that we have behind the table, I've got to say it's been doing pretty well. Well, um, well, I did my homework before I started this because I am technically a publisher, mm -hmm. so I created my own publishing company and then 
what I did was um, I just had a vision that I wanted not only just the books, but I wanted something else tangible to go with them. Um, yeah, a line of, of children's toys and educational things like the DVD and the umbrellas to kind of drive home the message and give parents alternate ways of entertaining and teaching the kiddos. So to me it was lots of fun. Um, it was a big investment for me um, in time, effort, um, a lot of you know sleepless nights, but um, it's been very rewarding. And I still go to schools. Um, now school's back in, I'm back to going to schools to talk to kids about weather. And we've seen you on the air, we've seen you on magazines, but now you're on the cover of Equanimity Magazine. What does that mean to you? You know, um, it's, it's just kind of a, it's exciting. I, I never thought I'd be the cover girl on a magazine. <laughs> I've been a little circle on the cover of D Magazine sure. about five years ago when I was named Best Meteorologist. That was a true honor. Um, so when Lumbee contacted, his publisher contacted my publicist about being, you know, possibly the cover girl for their fall edition, I was like, tell me more about what you're doing, what's the magazine about, and once we met and once she did the interview, it was just a perfect match, and, and you know, I'm the cover girl for fall just because I think I am, I'm doing what a lot of women want to do, which is either start their own business, um, trying to balance their life, their careers, their kids, their families, and that's what I've been trying to do too, so I'm just trying to share that story and it's been fun doing that. Okay. The premise of the magazine is about people transitioning, self-empowerment type stuff like that. Yep. Now, on that level, you mentioned that you're transitioning to a whole different genre, going back to school to get into the medical field. I am. You know, um, now that television is done for me, I mean, weather will always be a part of my life and meteorology, but and, and so will this. Um, but I think um, that before I decided to be a meteorologist, before I went to Texas A&M and was making that major choice, I was either going to be pre-med or meteorology. And so since I went with the meteorology, now it's time to pursue the other interest that I had, which is the science and the medicine. So I am going back to school full time right now, taking microbiology and anatomy and physiology and all these pre-med classes to hopefully, my goal is to become a nurse practitioner. I would like to get into the field if I can survive these classes. I am scared of you. <laughs> well, Christine, good luck with the school, with the books, and as you keep growing and prospering, I'm definitely gonna be on the lookout for you. Can people find you online anywhere? Absolutely, I still do my blog, which is christinegahanik.com, so that's easy to find. That's how most people find me. And then my books and my business are, um, the website is katieandthemagicumbrella.com. So either way, you're going to get a hold of me. And, uh, you know, I'd love for people to come on and just look at the website, come see what my products look like, and you can find them at most major booksellers and, um, and even some Learning Express stores around the Dallas-Fort Worth area. And we'll see what else happens from here on out. But thank well, you for interviewing. Well, we hope to have you again on your next transition or, like, when we go really big. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Thanks for coming on with us. Random Access, DFW. Now you you know how we do. We always try to keep you in the loop, so if you want to find out really what's going on, follow us at twitter.com slash RA capital DFW, and we are on YouTube. So we'll catch you next time. Spread the gospel, support your locals.